Hey guys, welcome to AMZ Analyzer. We've got uh, this is the program here. Let's look at their website. So, bulk analysis and profit cal calculation software, uh, basically for Amazon professional sellers. So, uh, let's take a quick look at their website. Pretty slick website. Uh, shows up. You can see here their uh, plan that they have. They've got the two-day pass, the five-day pass, and the monthly subscription of thirty bucks. Uh, overall, I really do believe that $30 is a good value for this software. Uh, it is very, it seems to be actually pretty good uh, with the latest uh, revisions and latest updates in the software. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's cut to the chase and show you what, uh, what we can do with the software here. So yeah, you come on over here, you go into your settings, and uh, in your settings you have everything uh, all laid out, uh, all your logins and your passwords and stuff like that. So unfortunately I can't click there because everything's in the clear and uh, yeah, basically give you the keys to the kingdom. Anyway, uh, but that's where you'd go to select that. There's also some other settings you can do change in there that uh, allows you to collect more data uh, like reviews, um, star ratings, those sort of things. Things that you would uh, you could do with any other uh, bulk analysis tool. Uh, just uh, it's all uh, left here in the settings tab. Anyway, so what we'll do is we'll select a CSV file. Now the CSV files have to be pretty uh, have to have a uh, column with the UPC, the ASIN, ES, EAN, or ISPN in it. Unfortunately, it has to be a CSV file as well. So uh, that's uh, the second uh, down point about AMZ Analyzer is it has to be a CSV file. Um, then you also need a cost column, which I guess is kind of uh, uh, optional at this point, but uh, if you really want to use it, you'll need a cost column. And uh, this will allow you to import all the other files back into your uh, your report, into the report. Some of the other options here on the screen, you have the search with browser, which uh, allows you to select stuff like um, like a search. If you wanted to do a search on coffee cups, you could uh, run a search here through your browser, and it will go ahead and scrape all the, the products off of it. Go ahead and you just hit forward and it will start start running the scrape. And uh, yeah, so you can sort of see what's going on and uh, see there found 33 products and it will go through and do a, a scrape basically and and pull the information into into um, your AMZ analyzer results tab similar what you can do with like uh, the jungle scout scout chrome extension uh, browse by Amazon seller allows you to choose an Amazon seller and um, you just put their Amazon ID in here and that will allow you to see all the products that they have do some uh, reverse sourcing that way. Uh, what I like to use it for mostly is the uh, running lists. So here we go. Got a, an old list populated here. So I'll just hit run, picks it up, finds that there's 24 products in that list. And just like that, it runs through all of them. Switch over to a results tab, and here are all the products. One of the cool things about this is that all of the uh, tabs are here active on screen. Uh, unlike uh, uh, some of the other ones that uh, give you an output directly, this allows you to modify everything within the program before you export it. You can also have uh, preset grid views. For example, here I've set up a Steve one. Uh, which I can switch to, which shows me just the products I'm interested in. And it reorganizes all the grid views into what I'm interested in seeing. So for example, we have here uh, all the products. And you can see sales ranks are all uh, all over the place. Purchase 
price, buy box price, those sort of things. So if we switch over back over to my version, you see I've already have filters placed and uh, those sort of things. So I've uh, got my sales rank uh, in descending or increasing order. And I have my ROI capped at um, greater than 0%, I believe. And yeah, so there's uh, basically a, a quick way to run a, a quick filter there. And yeah, so there's all the products that I, I need to see right, right there. And that allow me to go through and look at the products in more detail. Double clicking on the products doesn't really do anything. You need to right click and go to the product page. Listing page will automatically take you to the page where you can go ahead and sell it. Um, or see where, it, you know, whatever anybody else is being selling at, which is kind of cool. You can see that, uh, you know, do a quick check to see how many Amazon uh, Prime sellers they are. And it looks like there's two contending for the buy box right now. Uh, these other two people mm, pretty far away. So, uh, yeah, let's switch back here to Amazon or AMZ Analyzer. And uh, we can go to the product page just by clicking it like that. And you can see here's the product page. You get all of your information. Now let's look at some of the information we saw here. In here, we see the sales rank is 91,000. And back on Amazon, it was showing up as 91,000. And that is in the parent category. So you can see it is in some of the subcategories, it is ranking higher. Uh, but some people are interested, uh, actually everybody I've talked to is always interested more in the uh, parent category because that's sort of much more of a broad, broad picture. Um, and then making sure you do get them in subcategories is good as well. All right, guys, so this is Amazon AMZ Analyzer uh, for the Amazon Professional Sellers. Really great product. I do enjoy it. Oh, uh, you can also export the files. But yeah, I do enjoy it. Uh, I do recommend it. And I think it is, it is a worthy product. And I think it is uh, very well worth your money. All right, guys, check it out. amzanalyzer.com. amzanalyzer.com. There it is. All right, guys, talk to you later. Take care. Bye.